Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy, Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here for your reading. Today we're going to be looking at will you reconcile and when. So if you've got someone in mind that you want to reconnect with, you want to hook back up with this person, you want to give things another go, today we're going to be looking at when that may happen. So it is intended for Earth Signs, also to the cross watchers. Uh, if you wanted a private reading, please feel free to email me and we can go ahead and arrange that. Otherwise, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and signing up to membership. Let's jump into this baby and see what is coming up. When will a reconciliation take place? How and when will that happen? Okay, so we've got Leo season so far. Leo Sagittarius seasons. Aquarius as well, Pisces, multiple opportunities for a reconnection are coming up here, multiple time frames, Cancer season as well. Okay, we've got the full, we've got Aries. So this is very, um, very big. Okay, lots of potential for reconciliations across different time frames, starting with uh, Aquarius. We've got February, Pisces, March. Um, we've got uh, the full, could also be March, uh, April. Um, then we move on to July, cancer season, July. Uh, then we've got um, August and so, uh, December. So these are the time frames when it's most likely that your person is going to make contact, reach out, or try to reconnect with you. Um, so this is very powerful. Okay, I feel like your dest uh, re uh, a reconnection or a reunion is destined in the cards here. Now, there's two cards that would indicate pregnancy and children. So I feel like some of you are destined to have a family with this person when you reconnect. Either blending of families, um, adopting a child, producing a child, conceiving a child. It's like you're destined to be a family with this person. You're destined to have some sort of expansion of family is what I'm seeing. Um, you're destined to come back to each other. You've got that ace of wands here, earth signs. So... Okay, a lot of you aren't potentially doing too well without them. If this is you coming up as the Five of Pentacles, a lot of you may be struggling um, because you've lost such a massive love in your life. And look, a lot of you are still healing. Okay, there was lessons tied into this, I think, for you and for them. So you both had to be a part or you both had to learn something. But I'm seeing massive growth with the Empress here. Now, I feel like the two of you still have a strong chemistry or you still have a strong love that exists for the both of you. That has never gone away, nor do I think it will. Um, and I feel like the two of you right now are actually missing each other. This is like dreams in the subconscious. So I'm wondering if the two of you are actually like dreaming about each other in the same nights. Like this is some heavy duty stuff, right? Like to be connecting on such a frequency, um, especially on a subconscious level, I think speaks volumes of the kind of connection you had so there's unfinished business with the high priestess and there's a surprise that's coming in from this person so straight away i'm getting that this reunion or this reconnection is going to take you by surprise um some of you may be with other people when this person comes back you might be pregnant you might be meeting your new person's children or planning a family with someone else and that's when this person may try to reconnect with you uh, I feel like with the full card, it will take you by surprise. You won't be expecting this reunion, I don't think. I feel like they're going to initiate, so I see them reaching out more than you. Um, I feel like you may be upset and distraught and, you know, going through all those emotions, but I think it's going to be them that take the initiative um, to reach out to you. And look at these two of cups. You're still connected. Water is emotion. So you still connect emotionally somehow. Either you still care very much about this person or they still care about you. Even if they're with different people, hearing your name, it just brings up a lot of emotions for this person. They may or may not be able to even talk to their new person about you if they are with someone else. Like you, I don't know what happened, but it seems to be very touchy. Okay, it's a very, it's a some sensitive sensitive subject for them to talk about you or to talk about your relationship or talk about how things ended um so i get that it's going to be a surprise and they may they may reach out multiple times it may not just be the one reunion some of you will have several chances to reconnect with this person or several more attempts at a relationship together 
it could very well be an on and off energy that's coming up here as well. So some of you may, especially if you've been in this on and off cycle before, uh, some of you will go through that cycle once again where you may break up, something may happen, you might have a heated argument, and then you sort of come back um, to each other. Someone's trying to get into a healthier place for you. Uh, there's something that they want to heal from or impress you with, um, and they want to change that about themselves. I still feel like they're on that journey, so you may need to give them time. For those that are probably wondering what's taking this person so long to come back, maybe um, it's because they have to go through this journey, uh, or maybe, you know, they have this other person, or maybe they're just still trying to figure out where they're at in their mind, in their heart. Um, but either way, that's probably why they're taking um, they're taking longer. Okay, that's why they're taking their time um, with this. And you need to give them that time. I do get jealousy here with that Queen of Wands. So I'm wondering if someone is jealous here. So this could also be prolonging, reuniting, because they may be seeing you're out there doing your own thing. You know, maybe you're more active or you started a new hobby or you got a new job or you have a new person. Your success is potentially provoking some feelings of jealousy from their side. Um, or maybe they're jealous that they don't get to be the ones in your life experiencing all of this amazing, wonderful stuff you're doing with you. Um, and even though you may feel sad about it, you might be projecting a different kind of energy. And to them, you're coming across a certain way and they're like, you know, wow, they're doing really well and they're in shape and they always did that thing they were going to say they were going to do, but they never did when they were with me. And oh my God, I lost them. Like, okay, it's all going to sort of fall into place. Um, and that's why I think there's multiple chances of this person coming back or like multiple time frames of when they'll actually do it. So don't lose hope. I think some of you are losing hope. I think it's very likely in this instance um, for a lot of you watching that this person will at least revisit the idea of being in a relationship with you um, or reconnecting. So I feel like it's in the works. They're sort of slowly starting to plan their approach or their um, what they're going to say. So like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if you see it during those time frames. So we had um, Pisces, Pisces, Aries, Leo season, Cancer season, Sagittarius season. Uh, sorry, and Aquarius um, seasons here as well. So... I will leave it there. Thank you again, everyone, so much for tuning in and for watching, supporting the channel. It does mean a lot. Um, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, otherwise, we shall be in touch again very soon. So thank you, everyone, and bye for now.